version number for it. So the next thing we need to do is go back to our browser and look for browser sync. So we could say browser sync and just Google it. And the first thing will comes up, and the first thing that will come up is the browser sync website. And as you can see, it's a very simple command that it's telling us that we need to install it with. It's just npm, which is node package manager, install dash g browser dash sync. And dash g is just there to say that I want to install it for all users on the computer. Okay, let's copy that. Let's go back to our command prompt. And let's go ahead and paste that command right here. We'll press enter. And the node package manager should download things for us and install it for us automatically. Once it's done, it usually does come with some sort of warnings. And if you take a look here, there were a couple of warnings here. And it, but as long as it finishes properly, it, you're okay. We'll clear the screen with a command CLS. We'll try the browser sync command. We'll say browser dash sync space dash dash version. We'll press enter. You can see that it's telling us the version number, which means it installed properly. So at this point, we have verified that we installed Atom. We verified that we installed Node.js, and therefore, we also were able to install browsers.